Hi everyone, in this video is going to be a very quick and simple one, just showing you how to merge two photos. I've done this kind of video before in the past, but some people are still kind of confused by it. And I'll just try and make it as simple as it can possibly be. Okay, my example that I'm doing here is I've got two photos of a, a row which I did in the gym, and I'm trying to show off to someone of uh, how many meters I did in two different time sessions. One was a one minute row, and the other one was a three minute row, and I'm trying to show off how many meters I've actually do. Um, so the first one, I've just like taken a screen grab and it's uh, this photo here, but what I want to do is have the second photo showing the one meter row beside it instead of having to upload two photos onto Facebook. So what I can do is, all I have to do is go up to file and then um, open as a layer the second photo. So I've got the second photo here as a one minute row. So click on that, click on open. And that opens on top of it. And what you'll see is over at the side now, we've got the, the two different images. And we'll need to move it out of the way a little bit. So the first thing to click on is this Move tool, nice and easy. And then click on the image. So we click it on the top image and just move it to the side, wherever you want it. So I'm going to have it around about <clears throat> as close to that one as possible. And then next thing that's important is to make sure that the the image is covering everything. So fit canvas to layers. So now the canvas goes all the way over to there. So we've got the two images. And that effectively can be it. That can be all that you need to do. However, I want this to be a little bit of a smoother transition. So for a smooth transition, I'm going to do a layer mask. On the top image, right click on that. Go down to, uh, where is it? Uh, add layer mask there. And you've got the options of white, full opacity, blah, blah, blah. Don't care, just keep it on white and go add. So you notice nothing has happened, but that's because we haven't told it to do anything. What we then need to do is go to the gradient tool, click on that, make sure you've got black and white as your foreground and background. If uh, you did it the other way, as in it was a black, full opacity, you just swap these colors around. And then on this, I'm going to start the gradient from about there and take it to about there. So that gives me a nice smooth gradient of that. And obviously the second image is bigger than the one below, but I'm just going to crop that out nice and easy. Just click on the crop button and go over all of that and that, <clears throat> and then click return. And finally, that's the image which I am going to do. So I just click down flatten image and then I'm going to post that up on Facebook. So that's how to get two images. So if you've done two things and you can't be bothered uploading two photos to Facebook, that's all that I need to do to make sure they're both together nice and easy like that. Hope that helps. Cheers. Bye-bye.